Smoothies are great, actually, for school box lunches, and we don't realize because we're thinking, well, how in the heavens am I going to do that when I get up in the morning? There's right. not enough hours in the day. That's right. Do it on the weekend, and you can actually do it up, do up a full blender of it, and freeze it in your individual portion sizes. Uh-huh. You can take it frozen out of the freezer in the morning, chuck it into the, the ki- your child's yes. thermos, and then top it off with a little bit of milk Great there as advice. well. So these were frozen. I had them in my uh, fridge, so it's yeah. just kind of... I like using... And it's blueberry season, by the it way. It is blueberry my season. My plan this weekend is to pick a load of those and uh, freeze so them myself. So if we can get the uh, fresh ones, I mean, yeah. that would be a way yes. of healthier options. And, and obviously freeze them. Now, there is a question from our Facebook audience. I just want awesome. to uh, get that in. Her name is Jennifer. Jennifer Warren writes in, and she says, I'm finding my kids' nut-free school really challenging in terms of providing protein-rich snacks. Apart from cheese, what other suggestions do you have? It depends on what's on that allergy list as well. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes we can use uh, yogurt, milk. Uh, We can use beans as well, beans and lentils sometimes. Like roasted chickpeas are a nice option as well that you can bring in. Roasted chickpeas. Roasted chickpeas can go a long ways as well. Just throw them in the oven on a baking sheet? Throw them in on a baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil, Mm -hmm. or you could use a little bit of coconut oil if you wanted to as well. Mm -hmm. And you can spice them up to whatever way your your child would enjoy it. Right. Um, And again, I'm just putting yogurt in this here. So Let's you're see. putting yogurt in the blender that's practically filled with blueberries right now. Yeah, and we're just going to, is this going to make too much noise? No, All don't right. worry about the noise. Plug your ears. That's okay, plug in there the as well. ears. So we're just going to pulse right. it first. Yeah. In there as well. You can see the window's going to take that bag over. That's all right. It's a nice blender, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> And then that we've got it smoothed out enough, now we can actually just put in a little bit of milk as well. Right. And depending too, like some uh, families as well decide to go dairy free, and there's all kinds of alternatives that you could do this as well. Right. Uh, with so you could use uh, soy beverage, but you could also use coconut milk in here too. Which so would be so that's two percent milk you're pouring in. Yeah, we don't want to go skim with yeah. uh, children. We need they need their fat for right. growth and development and brain development. So right. uh, we're going to keep that in there, and we're just going to liquefy this a little bit more. As well. So this should be ready, good to go. Blueberries are nice and smooth. <laughs> so quick and easy snacks that are very easy. So you you used about a half a tub of this uh, vanilla flavored uh, yogurt. So that's about two hundred and fifty grams you used. About half a tub. Thank you, you very much. You get the sample. There you go. Wow, you told me I'd be sampling. Sid, I hope you brought your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Always. It's very it's delicious. Good. It is so good. And it was so simple. Quick and easy. And that's just it. We can make healthy food convenient and yummy too. And that's really important. Remember, that is delicious. you could also do these up and make them really, really thick and freeze them. So right. it can make like a little yogurt pop. 